Okay, so first project, we're going to try to make the ACF animation blueprint your own. So you can use any animation blueprint and change the move sets however you like, change the amount of blend spaces you are using. So I will, for this example, I will make the Paragon Grainstone animation blueprint into an ACF blueprint and I will also add a second move set which it will come from Quang because their animation blueprints are the same and they use the same inputs. The same, the same inputs, by that I mean the same animations are used. If you go to the animation blueprints if you go to the reference viewer, you will see what I mean by inputs. These are the animations that are used in this animation blueprint. So if you go to our animation blueprint right here, it's an, an first of all, what we want to do is change it to reparent it to an ACF anim instance. This, once it's done, if you do it the first time, what it will tell you is that I will show you how you do it once you do it the first time what it will tell you. If you go to the Paragon one, I have not reparented before. So if I go to the here and class settings, once I reparent it, it will tell me an error compile. All you have to do is just change the speed because there is already a speed variable in the parent right now, which is any instance. So just go here and refresh all nodes and everything will work fine. Go back to Grainstone. So in the animation graph, if you go to Grainstone, the ground locomotion, it has idle, jock start, jock stop, and run. Now to make a new move set, let's, let's, uh, Let's make a new move set. Let's not edit the preview. Let's make a new move set. The it's the first move set, so and this is what we have access to. Now we want to change these to be these to be what we need here. Now you wouldn't if you're gonna have an extensive animation blueprint, which is the, the Paragon one, they come with additional animations that are not used here. Like uh, here is just jog forward. There is no strafing, no anything like that. But if if you want to use the strafing, you would uh, in the run, for example, you would uh, blend pose by uh, I want to blend it by not an integer but by an enum. But if that enum doesn't already exist, I cannot do that for some reason. So if you make a new enum of directions and that enum will be, will be set like forward, right, and left, and backward, and it will change, right? You can, uh, you can blend multiple poses of these, which forward, back, left, and right, you can blend them and strafe. But right now, just for, for example, we'll just keep it to this. The, the only one thing, other thing that I have done uh, is I have duplicated the complete character and I have changed his animation blueprint to be Greystone's animation blueprint and changed the mesh. Okay, so if we go back to the Greystone animation blueprint to, to have everything exactly as we need, let's, let's get this ready first. So, to edit this, you're going to need to go to your project, you're going to need to go to plugins, after you have changed your, your plugin to your plugins in the 
project. Go to source, ascent combat framework, public, animation, and then in the anime set. H. So in here in the anime set dot H, uh, let's have the reference here open on the side. Uh, apparently, okay. So here is what we have here. Here, and we want to add some stuff to this. So let's open that reference viewer again, and let's see what we need. So idle, we need an additional animation sequence for idle because uh, the one that we have right now is a blend space. So I will rename this to. Uh, for some reason, I have to close my project. Do my uh, I have to close my project before I compile my changes for everything to work as intended. So I will do that after I change. So ACF, I'll change this to uh, idle uh, ACF. The name of it, and then I will. Underneath it, I will get an animation sequence. You could just simply copy this animation sequence, paste it right here, and then change the name here to idle. Okay, now the aim offset is already there. Blend space, aim offset blend space. Uh, the jump start is the jump start. Jump apex is jump apex, is jump loop, which is the apex, and jump land is jump end. But we have recovery additive. Just we can add that too, why not? Recovery uh, additive. I mean, this could be just a an additive animation, but this is a 1D aim offset. This is an additive blend space. It's not an additive animation, so you could just make it an additive an additive animation. Uh, what else do we need? This is a 2D blend space. Uh, we'll just keep it for movement. So uh, we need the jog start and stop. This is for forward. So we'll do that again. So, chalk. Chalk uh, forward start and another one. Chalk forward and if you're going to use four ways. You're gonna have to add four start and four ends. So uh, that is everything we need. As an example, just save that. I will go to my project, save all. Then close it. And then I'm going to build this. I'm going to save this. And then go to my project folder. Uh, 
to open it. Let's build it. Make sure you have saved this before you build. Can close it now. 